Welcome to an exciting tutorial on building a website totally 100% from scratch using no hand code. My name is Robert Farrell. I've been doing Adobe software since 1987, 26 years. If there's a better, faster, quicker way to develop your applications, whether it's for print, web, or motion graphics, I am the guy to help you every step of the way. I know the master shortcuts, the simple techniques, and how to let the software think for you. How to let the software do the heavy lifting for you. My objective is to get you to think the way the software thinks. So this particular video series will be continued for absolutely free on udemy.com. You'll get the full complete video course, 100% free, my gift to my YouTube subscribers on udemy.com. So let's get started by building a website 100% from scratch using no hand coding, using Dreamweaver's tools, sophisticated tools, one step at a time using my proven techniques. So here's what we need to do. The first thing we need to do, of course, is define our website. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, Dreamweaver, unlike other applications like, say, Illustrator or Photoshop or After Effects, Dreamweaver needs to know where your files are kept on your computer, unlike, say, you know, um, After Effects or um, InDesign. It doesn't matter where you put your files on your hard drive, but the computer is a very, I'm sorry, the website is a very dot the I, cross the T kind of application. It needs to know where you keep your images, your HTML page, your JavaScript files, everything you need to work with this file online for a very simple reason. You're building an application to work on somebody else's computer. That somebody else's computer, of course, is the web server. And I will share with you my techniques for uploading to your web server, making changes, uploading, downloading pages, images, graphics, everything you need to basically build a fully functioning HTML5 CSS3 flexible design website. That's what this course is going to do for you. So again, let's get started here. So what we need to do first, based on these choices, my objective is to teach you the way the software thinks. And through those choices, you'll be a better user of the software, regardless who makes the software. As long as it's menu-based, I can help you through it every step of the way with shortcuts and my time-tested production techniques. So here we have, based on these choices, I'm in, five, I'm in Dreamweaver CS6. Now, if you're not using Dreamweaver CS6, I highly suggest to use that because why do you want to spend time learning old, outdated software? The answer is you don't. So here's what we're going to do. Based on these choices, we're going to set up a new site. So based on these choices, we would go to site, new site. Now, pay close attention here. It doesn't really matter. This is for our in-house purposes. But what I typically do here is put the name of the site minus the .com or the .org, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So to save a little bit of time here, I'm just going to paste the name of my site. Now, this is a great site for, this is a great way to do a web domain name. You should basically have two different types of domain names. A domain name that doesn't have the hyphens because this way it's easier to basically see in an advertising or say, it, you know, you don't want to say how hyphen to hyphen make hyphen design. You don't want to have to do that. But this is a great URL web address to use for search engines because search engines will pick up this hyphen as a space. So this is a very search engine friendly web description or a good name for a website. It's a little long winded, but guarantee you, I make a lot of money building websites and I make a lot of money on SEO. So if you listen to my techniques, you'll make a lot of money yourself. And that's the objective of my courses to share with you how to let the software work for you and work smart. So again, I just paste in the name of my website, minus the .com or the .org. And then I'm going to click right here and based on these choices. Now, what you want to do when working with any software program, you want to get in the habit of looking at what your choices are. So this basically says choose a root folder. Now, the root folder is basically going to be your home folder. That's where all your files will be kept. Nothing should be kept outside of the root folder. So based on these choices, we're going to click this folder right here and come down here and hit choose. Now, in this particular case, it's all that's necessary at this point. I'm not going to set up FTP in this particular first video. You can see how to do that very simply by going to udemy.com. I will have a link to my free video series that continues this particular video on udemy.com in the description of this video that you're watching. So I'm going to hit save.
Okay, now the other thing I want to share with you is that I'm working again in Dreamweaver CS6 and I highly suggest that you have CS6 if you don't go out and get it. You get an educational version of the entire Adobe Library collection for as little as 19 bucks a month through the Creative Cloud. All right, the other thing I want to share with you so we're on the same page here is we're working in classic mode. So if you go up to the top right hand corner, we're gonna to go to classic. If you're not in classic, we're gonna reset classic. Now the reason I say that, it's very, it's much easier to understand and comprehend the software if you work in classic mode. It's a little less cluttered and much less confusing, and my job is to make this very simple for you. Now, what I wanna see here, notice there's a bunch of palettes here. I wanna take this palette and dis dislodge it over to here, and I'm gonna take the files palette as well. Everything else I can close down. I don't need the seed to build my website. I just want to see my CSS styles palette and my files palette. Incidentally, you want to click right here. What this will do for you is this will expand between your remote files, which we will talk about in the subsequent video, and my local files. Right now, I have no local files because I'm building a website 100% totally from scratch to share with you how simple, simple this is to do. Okay, so in our next free video on YouTube, I will share with you setting up the page totally from scratch to make an SEO-friendly, HTML5 responsive web design. So stay tuned and click the link in the top right-hand corner. You'll go to the next video. I'm going to post a few, the first couple of videos on YouTube for free, and the rest you can watch 100% free by clicking in the description link on the bottom to go to udemy.com. Udemy.com is a great way to learn things because there's all kinds of tools in there to help you learn better. YouTube's a great website, but it's not really a learning portal. Udemy is a learning portal, and you really benefit from my techniques on the Udemy platform. And again, this will be 100% free for the entire course. So stay tuned. My name is Robert Farrell. Thank you very much for being here.